Hi children, welcome back. In the previous class, we have learned about the structure of neuron or nerve cell. Today, we are going to study about the structure and function of myelin sheath. In the last class, you have learned that there is a covering, a protective covering around the axon which are made of Schwann cells. Now, let's see what is the detailed structure of this covering and is there any other type of covering seen around axon and what's the uh, real function of this covering etc see this is the enlarged picture of an axon of a neuron the axon has a protective covering around it that covering is made of Schwann cells or oligodendrocytes see this type of nerve cells are called oligodendrocytes so Schwann cells and oligodendrocytes are different kinds of nerve cells. The covering formed of Schwann cells or oligodendrocytes around an axon is called myelin. So what is myelin sheath? Myelin sheath is the covering around axon formed of Schwann cells or oligodendrocytes. Both are different kinds of nerve cells. Okay. Now how is this myelin sheath formed in the picture it is very clear that schwann cells or oligodendrocytes repeatedly encircle or repeatedly cover the axon and thus forms a membrane around axon that membrane is called a myelin sheath see the video you can see the covering around the axon that is called myelin sheath how is this formed see the video you can see a covering around axon and that is called myelin sheath now how is it formed the Schwann cells or oligodendrocytes which repeatedly encircle an axon and see this forms a membrane around the axon in this way myelin sheath is formed now what's the nature of this myelin sheath in the picture you can see it has a shiny white color and it is made up of a lipid or fatty substance called myelin that's why its name is myelin sheath okay now let's see what's the difference between myelin sheath made of Schwann cells and that of oligodendrocytes here you can see two types of myelinated nerve cells one is made of Schwann cells and other one is made of oligodendrocytes what is the difference between these two? If you carefully observe the picture, you can see Schwann cells cover only one axon or the different parts of same axon. But an oligodendrocyte cover different axons or different parts of the same axon at a time. Now, the second difference is myelin sheath made of Schwann cells is seen in nerves. But brain and spinal cord are myelinated with oligodendrocytes. Okay. See this picture. It's the section of our brain. We have learned that axons are covered with myelin sheath. And myelin has a shiny white color. So, nervous system has two parts according to the presence of myelinated nerve cells. We know only around axons myelin sheath is seen but around dendrons dendrites and uh, axonites myelin sheath cannot be seen so the part of the brain and spinal cord where myelinated nerve cells are seen in large number or in abundance is called white matter because myelin sheath has very shining white color but the part of the nervous system where non-myelinated nerve cells are seen in abundance or as accumulated that is gray in color and that part is called gray matter okay in the picture it is very clear that the inner part of the brain is white in color but its outer part is a little gray in color it is due to the presence of myelinated and non-myelinated nerve cells okay now let's discuss the major functions of myelin sheath myelin sheath provide nutrients and oxygen to axon 
secondly it increase the speed of impulses that uh, it increases the speed of impulses that is it allows impulses to travel very rapidly and effectively through it third one it act as an electric insulator similar to a protective insulation around electric wires and finally it protects the axon from external injuries unlike other types of cells a neuron cannot be recreated or renewed if it is damaged once okay that's all for today prepare the notes